What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing. I just finished up watching Michael Conlon versus Jordan Gill. And this was a 12 rounder in the Super Featherweight division. And this fight was Saturday, December 2nd from the SSC Arena Belfast in Belfast, Northern Ireland. And this fight was broadcasted on the zone. And in this fight, we saw a very nice upset as Jordan Gill bouncing back from his defeat to Kiko Martinez brutally stops Michael Conlon. Um, with the big, big upset, and Conlon was also coming off of a loss as well. So, I mean, it was a fight where the winner would have moved forward and the loser could be put in retirement. And we saw here Jordan Gill, who was a 6-1 to underdog, came in there, stopped Michael Conlon. Um, leading up to the stoppage, though, I had this fight scored 57-56 in Conlon's favor. I thought Conlon was just edging the fight, but it really could have went either way at the point uh, where the fight was stopped. But just to break this fight down round by round, the first round I just edged to Jordan Gill. I, he landed a very good solid right hand on Conlon, Conlon that sort of buckled his legs in the round. Um, Conlon fired back with some decent body shots, but overall that right hand from Gill won him the round. Then in the second round, Conlon got caught coming in. He came in there, tried to throw an uppercut to the body, left his chin wide open, got popped with a big left hook, sending him down to the canvas. And then he was just getting battled, battered and wobbled throughout the entire rest of the round. So it was a big second round for Jordan Gill. Then the third round, this round was very, very tight. Really could have went either way. Um, Conlon was wobbled a bit with a little combination. But overall in that round, it was a good bounce back. Even though Conlon was wobbled a bit, he got caught with one shot. His legs buckled a bit. But throughout that entire round, he had the better work, better combinations. Uh, really better everything than Jordan Gill. So I just edged in that round. But again, it could have went either way. Then round number four, this was also an extremely close round. Both of them had a very good round, in fact. They were both landed some very good offense on each other. Um, but I thought that Conlon was just a bit more polished, had a bit more snap on his punches in that round. Uh, so I just edged Conlon that round. But again, it was another round that really could have went in Gill's favor. So it was a really tight fight. Uh, then round number five, though, I thought this was a pretty clear Conlon round. I think he outboxed Jordan Gill. Then in round number six, Gill had some solid combinations. Uh, in the early part of the round, but then Conlon bounced back and got the crowd going, landing some huge shots on Gill, um, backing him up and visibly hurting him, so I just edged Conlon that round as well. Then in the seventh, um, Michael Conlon wasn't doing that bad to start, but then Jordan Gill started, um, as the round kept going on, Jordan Gill started landing some nice combinations on Conlon, and it looked like Conlon started to get shaken up. And then I guess Gill really saw something in there and got Conlon in the corner on the ropes, and was just firing massive combinations on him. Conlon was getting bounced around. Uh, head, His head was bouncing up and down. Um, and the referee stepped in to stop it. I mean, it wasn't really a bad stoppage. I wouldn't really protest it that much because Conlon was getting hit with some pretty heavy shots. But, I mean, it wasn't the, like the craziest stoppage. I mean, you could have maybe let Conlon go a little bit longer. But, I mean, it's better to really stop the fight a little earlier than obviously later. So, I mean... Not too bad on the referee, and a very, very good stoppage win for Jordan Gill. And this goes into the question, what is next for Jordan Gill? This is a massive win for him. Definitely the best victory of his career thus far. I mean, it's really a huge win for him, I'm going to be honest. I mean, it just is. Gill now improves to 28-2-1 with 9 KOs. Conlon drops to 18-3, and also has 9 KOs, I believe. So, so, I mean, this is a very, very good bounce back for Gill. And what could be next for him? I mean, he had that loss to Kiko Martinez. Prior to that, he beat... Kareem Garfi in a very, very good knockout. Um, now winning against Michael Conlon as well. I mean, when you take a look at the Super Featherweight division, this fight was for a WBA. Uh, I can't really remember what exact title it was, but it was for a WBA title, one of the regional ones. And I, I definitely expect uh, Jordan Gill to get ranked at 130. This was, I believe, his first fight at 130, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, wouldn't... I, I think we will see um, Jordan Gill ranked in the WBA at 130, maybe even another sanctioning body because Conlon was a pretty highly touted opponent. And I think we could see him in their pace, possibly taking on someone like maybe a Zelfa Barrett, maybe someone else who's pretty highly ranked that has fought on the zone um, and is a very solid fight for Gill next. But as for Michael Conlon losing here for the third time in his career, I mean, multiple things could happen. He could retire... Uh, because his punch resistance has just shown that it's not really there that much. 
Uh, he, or however, we could just see him in it. Uh, in just, I really don't know, honestly. I mean, we could see him back in there, but like, I mean, it's just tough to call because I mean, when your punch resistance is getting to the point where it's like with Conlon, where he gets hurt with like every single shot he's getting hit with almost, um, and especially since Jordan Gill isn't the heaviest puncher, it's a little concerning. But I mean, it's just whatever Conlon has to decide with his career and what he thinks he has left in the tank. Uh, so overall, Jordan Gill gets the best victory of his career thus far, getting his 28th win, upsetting and stopping Michael Conlon in 7. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.